I find that I'm tending to ramble when I do these videos. So what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to try and focus on one thing here. I've taught for 28 years in the Saskatoon Catholic in the Saskatoon Catholic schools. During that time, I've taught grade five, I've taught grade sevens, I've taught grade eights. I was a phys ed teacher. I have two degrees in physical education. I have one degree in distance education. I have one degree in uh, a bachelor of education. I'm now working on my PhD. And I find that I tend to go back to school to gain credibility in the area in which I'm working. And because for the last 10 years I've been working in distance learning, I've got my master's and I've got my PhD. Has that made me a better teacher or a better administrator for the Saskatoon Catholic Cyber School? I'm not sure if it has. But what it has done is it's allowed me to stand in front of my teachers and say it's important that you become lifelong learners it's important that you continue edu to educate yourself on what the internet has to offer in order to become the best online teacher you possibly can and I have credibility when I make those statements because that's what I do as well and so I wouldn't ask my teachers to do anything that I wouldn't be willing to do and if we are going to train lifelong learners, which should be the goal of schools today, then that's what we have to do as teachers and administrators is continue to learn in the areas that we're passionate about. So if you're passionate about something, go learn about it and make sure that's a subject that you're teaching. If you're not passionate about it, then change what you're doing because passion is what makes the world go around.